हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टूडेज स्पोर्ट्स टॉपिक इज ऑन ट्रेनिंग मेथड्स और प्रोग्राम स्टूडेंट्स हैव यू एवर इमेजिन हाउ मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ ट्रेनिंग मेथड्स आर देर और प्रोग्राम्स आर देर इन स्पोर्ट्स लाइक यू विल बी स्पेसिफिकली इन डिफरेंट स्पोर्ट्स like to develop your sports uh, what kind of different types of training methods are used in specific sports have you ever thought of it because a sports coach need to know that there are number of different methods to train the uh, methods in training uh, because each sports training method is unique okay uh certain types of training methods complement specific sports such as if you want to train an athlete you need to focus on continuous training methods look this is an continuous training method which will be uh, given to an athlete those who are long distance runner or uh, in middle distance din uh, race then now when you adopt any of the training methods there are few advantages and disadvantages will be coming with the training method but in this regard the sports coach or the athlete should be aware of these and how to best incorporate them into their training programs okay for this purpose i have come up with this topic to make you aware of different types of training methods used in sports so now we'll see <coughs> how many types of training methods are there there are seven methods of training continuous training fat leg training circuit training interval training plyometric training flexibility training and weight training there are seven methods now we'll study these methods one by one continuous training continuous training is any form of training that maintains the heart rate at a desired level over a sustained period of time advantages continuous training is useful as it improves cardiovascular fitness and you can train in most places it is also good as you uh, can train on your own or with a group disadvantage the main disadvantage of continuous training is that it can become boring and tedious we all know how boring it can be doing the same activity over and over again the next training is fat leg training fat leg training is a method of training that uses periods of exercise and rest an athlete would then rest for a set period of time and then repeat the program again fat leg training should always consist of both high and low intensity training for example fat leg training is running at a full sprint for 10 seconds walking for 1 minute followed by a medium intense city jog for 4 minutes so these example in this example there are three exercise included in this no there you will come to know that you while doing the exercise you have to increase your intensity which will be followed by low intensity then again moderate intensity okay in this way the fat leg training will be designed 
advantages. An advantage of fat leg training is that it develops both aerobic and anaerobic systems as these types of training uses different types of intensity. As we are sportsmen, we are well aware of exercises which informs us about the system of what is aerobic and anaerobic. These are the two, two systems in which the exercise are designed. Okay, aerobic and anaerobic. A further advantage of fat leg training is that you can use this method virtually anywhere so very little equipment is needed. Disadvantage A disadvantage of fat leg training is that it can become very repetitive and those new to training can find this intensity difficult to sustain for a longer period of time. Circuit training. Circuit training is a type of training that involves exercise at a variety of different stations. An example of circuit training could be to have six stations where an athlete completes 30 seconds of activity at each station. Advantage An advantage to circuit training is that stations can be easy to set up and can require very little equipment. Another advantage is that the station can work on the same or different parts of the body and circuit training can also involve sports related activities, fitness exercises or both. Circuit training can also allow for a period of rest between each set, each, each station and work on both the aerobic and anaerobic systems. Disadvantage A disadvantage of circuit training is that Athlete can fatigue very easily if the circuit is not designed correctly. A further disadvantage is that you may need a lot of equipment depending on how you have planned your circuit training. Weight training. Weight training is a method of training using weights. This could be freestanding weights such as the adjustable dumbbells, body weight exercises, resistance bands or weight machines such as the Hope Gym series. Athlete uses their one rep max to determine the intensity of the activity in weight training. Weight training is measured using sets and repetitions. Advantage An advantage of weight training is that working on developing a number of components of fitness such as power, speed, muscular strength and muscular endurance. Disadvantage and disadvantage of weight training is that you need to have weight training equipments available to use. A further disadvantage is that serious injuries can occur if an athlete is not trained correctly on how to use the machines. Interval training. Interval training is exercising with periods of rest planned into the sessions. An example of interval training is completing 10 into 30 meters sprint with 20 second rest in between each efforts. Interval training works on both aerobic and anaerobic system as well as developing the body's recovery system. Advantage An advantage of interval training is that training sessions can be quick compared to other methods of training such as continuous training. Another advantage is that this method of training uses rest to help aid recovery 
and can be relevant for relevant to sports such as football or tennis it is also possible to measure the intensity of a training session by measuring a person's heart rate disadvantages a disadvantages of interval training is that athlete new to exercise can find this method of training hard to repeat over a sustained period of time biometric training biometric training is a type of training that involves exercise with sh short burst of high intensity an example of an biometric exercise is a reverse lunges with knee up this method of training involves high intensity exercise or stretching aiming to improve muscular speed and muscular strength advantages an advantage of biometric training is that it can reduce the chances of injury in the long term it can also improve power speed and strength disadvantages a disadvantage of biometric training is that this method of training may not be suitable for beginners a further disadvantage to biometric training is that coaches will need to research the stretch and activity beforehand and if they are performed incorrectly or to the incorrect athlete it can cause pain or even injure the athlete flexibility training flexibility training is completing certain exercises that will improve a person's range of motion around a joint an example of a flexibility training exercise is the calf raises flexibility training is often regarded as an addition to a training session and not fully planned for in a yearly training program to do this correctly flexibility training should be incorporated into each training session as well as dedicated training sessions just focusing on developing flexibility to correctly apply this type of training method it is recommended that a total of 60 second should be spent on each stretching exercises advantages the advantage of completing flexibility training is that it can reduce the chances of injury in addition to this <coughs> it increases the range of motion and could improve your technique and skill development disadvantages a disadvantages of flexibility training is that some athletes can find stretching boring and not necessary another disadvantage is that it can take a while to see benefits of this training methods i hope now uh, everyone is aware of the training programs in future whenever the sports events will be conducted or sports practice sessions will be held uh if you go through this topic very keenly then you will understand what kind of training programs you are doing okay students thank you stay fit and healthy